How to become a data engineer roadmap. Let's go. Month one, learn the fundamentals of data engineering. So this is going to mean learning what data types are, what data modeling is, data formats, what makes up a data pipeline, and so on. And learn the basic concepts of SQL and Python coding. Then build two to three small projects based on what you've learned. So that could mean building a data pipeline that moves data from Excel to a database or exploratory data analysis in a Jupyter notebook with pandas and so on. Month two, understand what databases and data lakes are. Learn what their purpose is, how they're used in companies, why companies use them in the first place. Then build two to three small projects that migrates data from a database to another database. So maybe from like SQL Server to Postgres or a database to a data lake like MySQL to um, AWS S3 bucket or Azure Blob storage container or scrape data from the web and push it into a data lake. Month three, learn about data warehouses. So you're going to need to understand why companies use them, dimensional modeling, entity relationships, then try and build a data warehouse of your own. So you can use Snowflake, Google BigQuery, Amazon Redshift, Databricks. It's all up to you. And make sure you document the steps that you took to create it as well. You're going to need Python and SQL too. Month four, learn about testing and logging with SQL and Python. Find out why companies need data quality tests and why they need to log inside a data pipeline. And then create data quality tests for the data warehouse that you've just built. Try using things like CTEs or window functions, aggregate functions with SQL, or try using um, Python libraries like Great Expectations, PyTest, Soda. These are important for data quality checks. And also add logs as well. Month five, learn about workflow management. So you're going to need to learn things like data orchestration, data monitoring, data lineage, and understand technologies like Airflow, Mage, Azure Data Factory, because these are important to companies. Understand how they use them and why they use them. Then use one of these technologies to schedule a pipeline at a specific time interval. So maybe every, every morning at 8 a.m. or every two weeks, do something like that. Or you can trigger the pipeline to run when a specific event has happened. So maybe a certain file has dropped into a data lake and then that's when the pipeline is triggered. So use one of the technologies I've mentioned to support you with that process. Month six, learn about distributed computing and streaming pipelines. So a good place to start is Spark. And once you understand how Spark works, you can now add Kafka into the mix. Then once you've learned the theory, create a simple Spark data frame and then create a streaming data frame with Spark. And then once you've learned that, try to implement Kafka as well. Month seven, learn about CI CD pipelines. Get to understand how they help companies automatically push changes and test changes into a production environment and try to pick up one of the technologies that support it like Jenkins, Azure DevOps, GitHub Actions, any one of them will be fine. Then create a CI CD pipeline with one of these technologies. Month eight, start looking at interview questions. Practice interview questions, generate interview questions with an AI tool like ChatGPT, just start practicing. Then practice the interview questions with yourself, practice with some peers, or practice with some volunteers you can find in a data community that may, be, that may also need practice as well. So go through all of this in a pace that's comfortable for you. Try not to cram everything at once. You can spend about 20 to 30 minutes each day just going through some of this. So avoid um, overpressuring yourself in trying to get everything learnt, even within the months that I've allocated. Learn what you can and then pick up the rest into the next month. When you're going through each section as well, try to watch YouTube videos or read articles or blogs to support what you're learning. You can even take courses or certifications whilst you're learning this, just to complement the learning process as well. So Data Camp or Code Academy, 
right? Just try to make sure that you're actually applying what you're learning and then compile all the projects that you've built up to this point into a nice clean portfolio and then publish it online. Let others see it, let recruiters see it, let hiring managers see it and even let the data community see it so that they can understand what you know and they can even learn as well from what you've learned. So remember, the theory is for learning concepts. The practical is for building projects. Let me know if you want me to actually create videos for each of these sections as well, so that you get to understand what to expect in your projects. You get to understand what each area would look like in the real world. If you need that, let me know. Stay blessed.